donate, create. And there has been like a document, you know, basically like uncovered from, you know, I believe the late 1970s, I believe like 1978 of, you know, ExxonMobil from the review of environmental protection activities. And then, you know, it basically stated Um, it is assumed that the major contributors of CO2 are the burning of fossil fuels. There is no doubt that increases in fossil fuel usage and decreases of forest cover are aggravating the potential problem of increased CO2 in the atmosphere. Technology exists to remove CO2 from stack gases, but removal of only 50% of the CO2 would double the cost of power generation. And then, you know, like, I guess, you know, Exxon can't just complain and say, oh, we only said that to I guess you know the top level like or the directors or whatever that they have because you know it was basically distributed to all their you know like global corporate managers and stuff and then in the same series of uh, their reviewing in 1980 1981 under like key environmental affairs issues and concerns it basically stated CO2 slash greenhouse effect receiving increased media attention. Um, that was just like, you know, demonstrating that, I guess, you know, the CO2 fossil fuel industry and stuff needs to have like more media attention. So like, I guess, you know, the public to know like what's really going on. So they're not, you know, kept in the dark. And then if that wasn't like enough for you in about, I think in the late sixties, there was this um, article called um, pollution is everybody's business. And the author was H.R. Holden or Holland or something like that. And um, basically he was a chemical engineer under the, I forgot what division. And basically he worked for like Imperial Oil, which was like Exxon's like Canadian like subsidiary. And basically he stated, you know, since pollution means disaster to the affected species, the only satisfactory course of action is to prevent it to maintain the addition of foreign matter at such levels that it can be diluted, assimilated, or destroyed by natural processes to protect man's environment from man. And then like basically like despite, you know, Exxon's, you know, like knowledge of, you know, the repercussions of, you know, like fossil fuels and all that, I believe in 1989, they formed the, G the GCC, which is like the General Climate Coalition, I believe it was called. And, um, yeah, basically, like, the whole, like, mission was just, like, to deny, like, fossil fuel, like, responsibility. Like, even though, like, you know, in those, you know, documents, it kind of said that they knew about it. And then, like, even so that, you know, their own, like, scientists were, like, saying, like, oh, yeah, it's, you know, unrefutable that you can't, you know, deny the repercussions of, like, basically burning fossil fuels. And then from that, um, senators actually introduced an amendment to the energy bill basically like showing Congress's like disapproval of, you know, all the inf misinformation that they're receiving because, you know, like I said, like their scientists are saying, you know, one thing and then the GCC, you know, is saying another. And then how could they make, you know, intelligent, you know, decisions on, you know, bills and stuff if, you know, they're getting confused information. And I wonder what else is, you know, going around from, you know, these high level officials. Peace.